the Avon Championships. Brought to you by Avon, the world's leading beauty company. With Avon, you never look so good. By Wella, we do beautiful things to your hair. By Lily of France, makers of the sports bra. This is an extraordinary day for women in sport. At this end of the country, New York, the Avon Championships. In Las Vegas, the Ladies Professional Golf Association National Pro-Am. Good afternoon. I'm Bud Collins, along with Chris Everett Lloyd, and we have the championship. Martina Navratilova against Tracy Austin. A rematch of last year. Chris Everett Lloyd, you're here at the microphone. Why are you here and not in the tournament? Well, simply because I'm not playing competitive tennis right at this moment. I've taken a break, and um, it's been two months since I've taken that break, and, and I'm enjoying just watching the matches. The break seems to agree with you. Will we see you play tennis again? I hope so, but um, I'd really like to get the old desire back, but it's really too early to tell at this moment. I hope so, too. But today, we have Martina Navratilova, who has burned up the Avon circuit, the 10 tournament circuit that led up to this championship between eight leading women on the circuit against Tracy Austin. How do you see this match? Well, but I think Tracy and Martina have both looked very impressive this week. Uh, Tracy certainly is hitting her ground strokes harder than usual, but I still would have to, to favor Martina, simply because I think she's a better player on this type of surface. Is she stronger? She's stronger, she's more powerful, uh, but more importantly, she's the more aggressive of the two. Aggression, then, Chris Everett Lloyd says, will win this match. We'll see when we return to the Avon Championship, Navratilova against Austin. Earl tried to get here to Madison Square Garden, but only eight made it for the Avon Championships. The Elite Eight of women's tennis into Madison Square Garden for the Avon Championships. Tracy Austin and Martina Navratilova playing for the title today. Martina going through a season, losing only one match. And here she beat Kathy Jordan, Billie Jean King, and Yvonne Gulagan into the final with three victories and no defeats. Schoolgirl Tracy Austin from Rolling Hills, California, commuting between the 11th grade and the toughest competition in the world. And she is 3-0 and zero in the tournament, having beaten Greer Stevens, Yvonne Gulagang in a tight three-set match, and yesterday, Billie Jean King. Greer Stevens, with her back to us, is the hard luck player of the tournament. Here, oh, the ankle gives way. She defaults to Austin and must default her other two matches as well. Broken down with a bad ankle. Kathy Jordan, a bright newcomer from King of Prussia, Pennsylvania. She beat Virginia Wade but didn't make it to the semis, losing to Martina Navratilova and Ivan Gulagang. Here's the rabbit, Wendy Turnbull, long a standby of the women's tour. She lost two matches, won only the default over Stevens. Virginia Wade, the Wimbledon champion of 1977, loses to King and Jordan and does not make the semifinals. Ivan Gulagang played well enough in patches could have won it all she beat Turnbull she beat Kathy Jordan she lost to Tracy Austin and chances after chances in that match and yesterday in three sets to Martina Navratilova Billie Jean King the mother figure of women's pro tennis at 36 she says I'm ready to play more and win more. She won two tournaments on the tour. She will go down in histrionics as well as history. But Billie Jean, despite her semifinal loss to Tracy Austin, came back alongside Martina to win the doubles championship over Rosie Casals and Wendy Turnbull yesterday, 6-3, 4-6-6-3. King and Navratilova cutting up $25,000. And as we wait for the tennis to begin, let's go to Las Vegas, the Desert Inn and Country.
like Newton and Mexican food, or in scrambled eggs and omelets. <laughs> How about a nutty banana split? You know what you need. A little Newtson. We know what you like. It's the best. And that's how you build a name like Newtson. Mm. Everett Lloyd as these two go at each other. They're old rivals. Martina Navratilova has Even though they're not very old. 20 times they've played. Martina leads 13. ready. Wins seven losses. They Play. played once this year in the Los Angeles final. Martina won, and here we go for the Avon Championship. Ball 15. Austin. And Martina going to come up on every serve? I think 30. on our first serve, it's hard enough to, but uh, those two return of serves have been just great. Tracy's really hitting the ball hard. Triple breaker right away for the kid. 17-year-old Tracy Austin, Rolling Hills Good High School. Against the champ, Navratilova. It will go wide, and as they change courts, Tracy Austin leaps into the match with both feet, breaking serve. She has the opening game. Surprise you? Yes, a little bit. Our all boys and girls are I think that if anyone's going to give Martina trouble, as far as returning her serve, it is going to be Tracy, because she really handles her left-handed serve very, very well. She, Tracy seems very confident, especially in that opening game. She was beaten badly in the Los Angeles final by Martina. She came in here last year. She was a startling finalist to get to the final. Most people expected you to be there, Chrissy, but she had a good tournament. She sure did. And she pushed Martina to three sets when most people felt it would be a walk away. Now, I've heard talk today in the press room saying it's going to be a very short match. Martina's going to steamroll her. You said before we came on the air, it isn't going to happen. Well, the way Martina's been playing this season, I didn't think it would happen. Um, but you never can tell with Tracy. I think she's playing very well. She's hitting her ground strokes harder than usual. And I think she's the underdog. She's got nothing to lose now. How much pressure is this woman, Martina, fe feeling right now, losing her serve in the very first game? Martina has to feel a lot of pressure. I think she feels nervous whenever she plays Tracy because she's older than Tracy. She's beaten her more times. And, and I think she feels that she's a better player. So Martina is the champion. She's the Wimbledon champion, number one Tracy on Austin the Women's to Tennis Association computer, worldwide computer. And now Tracy Austin, who will be trying to put first serves in because Martina beats up on her second ball and comes right. in. Fifteen love. Five straight points for Austin. Martina hasn't really settled down at this point. Wide. Oh. Long. 15 all. And Martina has her first point. umpire you're hearing calling the match Justina Bricka, the former top 10 player herself from St. Louis. Well, good left-hander, Justina. Snaky serve. Net cord. 
That's the only way Martina will beat Tracy if she comes in on those short balls. Fault called by Anita Shuko, familiar figure on the lines. So, breakers against Tracy. Austin. She can come up, Chris. 30, 40. Here. Tracy's coming to the net on a cross-score forehand and hits a beautiful volley. Placement is very, very good. And it's just too good for Martina to handle. Tracy rescues a break point. Here's number two. Tracy put a pretty good serve in there. Martina came into the net, but Tracy hit a great passing shot. From 1540 to Deuce, the two break points wiped. Another Let's see if Martina storms the net again. Tilova lost her serve. Opening game breaks Austin. One all. People still filing into the garden. I suspect around 13,000 here this afternoon. Everett Lloyd, which is the better side for Austin, forehand or backhand? Well, I think she makes more errors on her forehand side, but uh, both sides are excellent. Whoa! Uh, That's where she beats Martina every time, her passing shots. Good. Still going, and Martina has it. Tracy hits a great lob over Martina's backhand, comes into the net, hits a good cross court volley, but Martina's there, and the shot's too good. 15 30. That's the Martina we know. Oh. 
pretty good serve into her body there. Oh, very good serve. Tracy looked like she couldn't move her feet. Oh! Tracy stands in so close on Martina's serve. I think she got the line. She did. Yes. Two inside out returns for winners. Martina's not sure about that call. She Martina doesn't, like, doesn't it. like it. No, she doesn't. Rosalind Beck on the sideline signals the ball is good, and her call is confirmed by umpire Bricka. The umpire, Justina Bricka. And she's in a good spot to see that ball. It is deuce for a second time. She must forget about that. Tracy Austin is awesome. She breaks again. She leads two games to one in the first set of the Avon Championships. On at each other with clubs. Three games played, three breaks of serve, and Tracy Austin will serve with a two games to one lead. I'm Bud Collins with Chris Everett Lloyd. And Tracy Austin, we must be correct about this now. Her dressmaker, the savant of the sewing machine, Ted Tinling, I said, what color is the dress? I said, it looks like salmon. He said, it is smoked salmon broderie anglaise. Oh, my heavens. <laughs> so it looks like you could eat it. Looks like it tastes good. Yeah. Smoked salmon. Yeah. It's wide. 15, love. Only three games played, but what ups and downs. Martina discouraged by losing her serve, then Tracy loses hers, then she breaks Martina again. Fifteen all. Austin. Thirty fifteen. Another great volley that Tracy hits. She's really won a lot of points on that volley. Thirty fifteen. After Billie Jean King lost to Tracy in the Boston semifinal, 6-3, 6 love, she said, on shots like that, I just don't expect her to be so close to the line. I give up on volleying them. I think they're going to be out. But you have to volley everything against her. Yes, she's so accurate. Martina. 40-30. Martina, 23, lives in Dallas. Tracy, 17, who was the youngest of all U.S. Open champions at 16 last September. Game on. The call is out. First set, 3-1. Tracy Austin opens up a two-game lead, three games to one. Tracy's trying to hit to Martinez's backhand an awful lot. 
because Martinez's forehand is her weapon. Only two matches this year. It's on the line. Fifteen all. I think Martina feels very frustrated at this moment. Oh, well, that kid can give you a frustrated feeling. Fifteen thirty. Wide. 30 all. I think I'd say Martina must hold serve here to stay in the set. Must get her first serve in, too. Ball. It's fault, and she's below 60% on first serves. Not good. Two break points hanging around the neck of Navratilova. Ooh. Austin attacking surprises Martina and increases her lead to four games to one. We'll have more of the Avon Championships live from Madison Square Garden in just a moment. Last night, the young woman with the tennis balls, Tracy Austin, was shaken up when the taxi cab in which she was riding collided with another taxi. Today, there were no injuries in the Austin family. Today, the woman on the left is being shaken up by Austin. The score, 4-1, as Tracy serves. at this moment. 15, love. It's all working for her. She's not letting Martina play her own game. Martina looking right. The ball goes love. to her left. New confident Austin. And oh, how pleased her coach Robert Lansdorp is seated in the stands. He predicted victory for her today. He had quit coaching her in January, is now back in the fold. each other to the utmost. 40 love. Three tournaments this year out of five she entered on the Avon circuit. Martita won five of the six she entered and lost only one match all season to Billie Jean King. Ooh. 
Martina behind the stand nearly got the ball. Austin. But the game goes to Austin. And Martina is being pushed all over the ballpark. Tracy hits a great backhand Austin cross court. Martina stretches for the ball and just, just gets it over the net. Tracy hits a great down the line backhand and Martina almost gets it, almost, but it just hits the net. Set game against the champion, Navratilova, at 1-5. Beautiful shot. Do you think she meant that? No. Okay. Let's say her long. intent was there. She was putting down the racket to probe. She was hoping it would go it like that. Came up gold. 30 long. Martina said before the match she likes to play Tracy. She's been beating her badly lately. The last two times she beat her pretty badly. Oh. Martina's really up against a wall at this point, and she has nothing to lose. What? Serves a let, and the first serve will be repeated. Net judge Eileen Leonard felt the tickle of the cord. Any volleyer will have trouble with returns like that. That was good, but it was right to her. On her toes. Game and on. that's the strongest game that Martina has played. But Tracy will serve for the set. Five games to two. And we'll re the second year the Avons have been held at Madison Square Garden. Eight women came in here each with a chance for the $100,000 first prize. But now it comes right down to this match. Austin serving for the first set against the defender, Nefratilova. Five games to two for the kid. And a bright start for Martina, the runaround return on the second serve. Well, 15. Tracy seems to be moving so quick today. I think she's really improved that. Hit the edge of the line. away from the first set. Tracy Austin, the truant, with permission, from Rolling Hills High School in California. It's on the baseline. Martina's really stretching for those volleys, and she anticipated those very, very well. Set point coming up. 
a very good choice of shot there. 40, no, I don't think 30. so. The first set belongs to Tracy Austin, 6-2. Why, Chris Everett Lloyd? I think Tracy is a little more patient at this moment, and um, Martina really hasn't found her own game yet, but we'll see what happens. Play is continuous, quiet please. Thank it's you. At this point, a few years ago, at which Martina would usually crumble. That's but she right. says she no longer panics at losing a set. It's best of three. I think that's quite obvious. She's won Wimbledon the last two years. She's a more mature player right now. Martina. 30 love. She will become a U.S. citizen shortly. She has been ranked number one in the United States by the U.S. Tennis Association. Play by Tracy Austin. 30 all. Staying down the middle with her returns, keeping them low, but right at Martina. First game of the second set, very important to this woman who lost the opening set. Game and Evratilova has the first set. game balls, of the please. second set. She holds her serve. And we'll have more of the Avon Championships live from Madison Square Garden in just a moment. This is one of them, Althea Gibson, an all-timer, won Wimbledon and the U.S. Championship at Forest Hills, 1957-1958. Resides in New Jersey, but also in the International Tennis Hall of Fame at Newport, Rhode Island. Austin, second game, second set. She leads. 6-2, love one. First set from our statistician, Steve Flink, both women serving at 68%. But, Chris, 13 unforced errors for Martina and only six for Tracy. That cord will go wide. 15 all. So there they are, the numbers. 68% on first serve. No aces or double faults, but that st statistic on unforced errors, twice as many for Martina.
Long. 15-30. I think that's what Martina wants to do, is to take advantage of Tracy's second serve, slide the ball in, and come into the net behind it, because it puts Tracy on the spot. What an angle! Tracy, it's a cross-court forehand to Martina's backhand. Martina hits a very, very clever drop shot, which Tracy cannot reach. And so it's 15-40, double breaker against Tracy Austin. Beauty over the backhand side. You could hear Martina saying, that's too good. Martina seems 30, to be working 40. awfully hard. Still break point. And break. And for the first time today, Martina Navratilova has a lead. Two games to love in the second set, but she lost the first. I think this is a big game right here. A three-love lead would give Martina an awful lot of confidence. Oh, Martina! 15, love. Martina's shaking her arm an awful lot. You think it might hurt? Well, she's had some problems in the past with her arm. It's long. 30 long. Could that also be nerves when you're behind? And... I don't think so. You know, I don't think Martina would, would use that. Head cord. 40 long. Virginia Wade watching. She was one of the eight who came in here, did not make it to the semifinals. Ace the Ace first of the match. Over. For Martina as she does step away to a three games to none lead. has shifted. Martina Navratilova has taken a three-love lead in the second set. Anxious to keep her championship. I'm Bud Collins along with Chris Everett Lloyd. Tracy Austin, the server. Fifteen love. These were the dominant women on the 10 tournament Avon circuit. Martina won five tournaments, Kansas City, Chicago, Los Angeles, Oakland, and Dallas. Tracy won three, Cincinnati, Seattle, and Boston. The other two won by Billie Jean King, Houston, and Detroit. Those three women came in here, along with Yvonne Gulligan, Wendy Turnbull, Virginia Wade, Kathy Jordan, Greer Stevens. People underestimate Tracy's volley. I think she has a very good volley and uh, even a better approach shot. She's not timid about volleying. Yeah. 
Corny Love. So three games to one for Navratilova. Navratilova leads three games to one. Martina, who had a 28 match winning streak during the season. 15, love. King stopped it in Houston. But she's won 32 of 33 matches this season. That's not a bad record. Not bad. What kind of record you were piling up? When I was young. <laughs> Navratilova. Martina thought she caught the center line, but Mary Lou Conway called fault. game for Martina. Trace is really keeping it to Martina's backhand. No mistaking that call of out from Adrian Clark on the baseline, one of the few token men working this match, as officials. There's Adrian. 1st double fault of the day, and Navratilova, who was coasting along, now struggling. Deuce. That was a bad time for a double fault. Martina winning it in her way and increases her lead to four games to one in the tennis. Now let's find out what's happening in the LPGA. What is difficult about playing these two women? What is tough about playing Martina? Well, Martina is so strong. She simply overpowers most of the other women, me included. But she is very, very strong. Um, her temperament has settled down tremendously. Um, I think Tracy, Tracy's very tough for me. I've lost to her the last few times, and she is very patient, very steady, uh, and very determined. Does she out Chris Everett Lloyd, Chris Everett Lloyd? I think so. I think the last few matches, she's definitely outplayed me. But I mean, she's so tough from the baseline. 
She is. She's very, very tough and very accurate. Plus the fact that her sir and volley aren't that bad. No. She has that little added bit. Well, here she is. Tracy Austin trailing in the second set, having won the first set. She's down a break. Fifteen, love. She lost to only two players this year, Martina in the Los Angeles final, Greer Stevens in the Houston quarterfinals. Both women on an eight-match winning streak. Tracy played a perfect first set, and I really feel she's making a few errors in the second set. her backhand, but Tracy's waiting for it, and it's a great cross-court volley. 30-15. Ooh. 30-all. Kavratilova, now in form. 30-40. With the break point that could mean the second set for her. Long. Advantage, Austin. Close, but out, says Adrian Clark. Falls out. And umpire Justina Bricka concurs. Deuce. Beautiful top spin backhand by Martina. Second deuce. Congratulations. It's a break point. No, it's why. And now suddenly the match is flip flop. Martina Navratilova serving to get even at 5-1. And we could very easily have a third set, should have it. I don't think Martina's gonna faint right here. No, I don't think so.
for 15. Thursday night, Ivan Gulagon served for the match against Tracy Austin, 5-4 in the third. Tracy would not let her have it. Tracy's very determined. 15 all. Tracy should come 30. into the net a little more because every time she comes in, she wins the point. Good observation. She hasn't lost any points no. she, from the net. Sales wide. 15-40. And two breakers. So Austin is not conceding the set. and says, I do wish the second set to continue. Beautiful. And so it is five games to two. She'll be serving and we'll have more of the Avon Championships live from Madison Square Garden in just a moment. Because they're getting a bonus. And this crowd amounts to 13,878. The tournament record. a record for women's tournaments. Larger crowds have seen women play in tournaments, 15,000 every day at Wimbledon, 16,000, 1974, at Forest Hills for the US Open, King and Gulagan. Call 15. So Tracy Austin, who ran off with the first set and was on the verge of losing the second, is prolonging it, 2-5. It's good backspin, but Martina can't make the play. A little casual with it, it seems. Yes. One handed backhand. 15, 30. Martina hits a good cross court forehand. Tracy just nicks it. Martina misses it by about three feet. 15.30. That is long. 30 all. Well, I think the match, the second set, is a lot closer than the score indicates at this moment. It is on the sideline. Martina looked for the call, and the call is overruled. Quickly, umpire Bricka said the ball was out. There was no call from linesman Shelly Moss. But the umpire took over, and it is set point against the server, Austin. Thank you. 30-40. Navratilova, incredulous, looked at the lines person. the baseline. Martina! A magnificent rally, but the set belongs to the champion, Navratilova, and this match is dead even.
6-2. So they've split 6-2 six sets. 6-2 six sets are one all. And we go down the stretch for the championship. The $100,000, the supremacy, Quiet, the prestige, please. and the pride. Thank you. Did you ever once, in a major championship like this, Chris Everett Lloyd, think about the money awaiting you if you could win this last set? No, I have to say, I've never thought about money when I'm playing a match. I think they're both the same. I think so, because they both won so much money anyway. Law of 30. What's, two, an, what's another $100,000, right? Two million heiresses scrapping like alley cats. They want the title. They're professionals. Yeah. And this is the way the match has been. You hit me, I'll hit you harder. Here is Navratilova. No time to relax with the second set. She's in trouble right away. Moonball. Why? That was very smart of Tracy. She was changing the pace, throwing up a couple of lobs. It was very smart. So she said, let's have a little junk. And Martina stubbed her toe on a triple breaker. Net cord goes for Tracy. 3rd set. Whoa! Martina to serve next. And we'll return to the Avon Championships from Madison Square Garden after this message from our local station. Left to right, Mother Jean Austin, Coach Robert Lansdorf, Brother Jeff Austin, also a tennis professional. It's like a baseball dugout. There's Sarah Kleppinger on the right, one of Tracy's agents. They're shouting all the time. They're into the match. Law 15. There was a lot of confusion and gossip about Tracy's coaching situation. Lansdorp has coached her for a decade, since 1970. He resigned after Roy Emerson was brought in to help with strategy. Now she says, I have two coaches. Lansdorp is back. I still have Emerson. And many feel that she needs Lansdorp's presence to win. He returned in Boston. She hasn't lost a match since. I think Robert is her traveling coach. Right. And really works out with her every day. And Roy Emerson helps her with her strategy and her serve also. I couldn't get anybody to coach me. I, you know, many people have three, four coaches. Nobody wanted me. I can understand that. Yes, you can. Let's go back to this match. 30-15. Tracy Austin with a one-break lead already in the decisive third. Oh. That goes wide. 40, 15. What's happened to Martina, Chrissy? Martina's making too many errors and she really isn't patient enough. Concentration. She has to settle down. Eight. 
game Austin. And so Tracy Austin has the first two games of the last set. Now, what does Martina have to do, Chrissy? I think play the way she played in the second set. She got her first serve in, and she played very aggressive tennis. More aggressive. Actually, she was only 54% on first serves, but she was aggressive. Yes. Like that. Long. That is vintage Nevratilova. Love. Uncharacteristic error from Tracy. Yeah. You used to miss one of those about every three years. Yeah. An ace for Martina, second. It is long. Austin leads two games so to Tracy one, Austin still seven. has the one break of serve lead. Two games to one for Austin. And she'll be one of two successive years. The woman to my right, Chris Everett Lloyd. I'm Bud Collins, and we have the third set. And people work and plan, and they're so pleased when you go through a whole season hoping the last match of the season might be the best. And we've got it. Love 15. what Anna Laird, who's worked so efficiently for the Women's Tennis Association, Chuck Pennant, were saying, let's just have a good match and show it off. Couldn't get a better match than this one. On the baseline. She missed it, she made the right play. She followed the net, came to the net after that very good lob. Love 30. I don't think a one break lead will hold up to you. I'm not too sure. Tracy's won a lot of points on that cross-court forehand. Tracy's getting ready to hit her two-handed backhand, but it has too much of an angle for Martina to handle. 30 all from Love 30. Interesting. Now, Tracy wouldn't have any of that, and she got Moon back. 40, 30. Martina has to come up with a great shot here because she's in big trouble. Tracy Austin, down love 30. She pulls it out to increase her lead to three games to one. 
Tracy Austin. She'll be returning to her home state, although I don't know if she'll be back in high school tomorrow. She'll be playing the Claro Crown at La Costa next weekend with Martina and Billie Jean and Yvonne Gulagan. Tracy really jumps up. Must game for Martina. Must have Definitely. this. Definitely. This is a big game. Ooh. 15. Here's one I think I could have made, That's although not in that all. situation. Beautiful serve from Martina. She could use some more of those. She's got to serve well now. How big is this point? 15, 30, 1, 3. Martina, a point she had to have. Tina very rarely misses an overhead. Good serve on the tee. The volley's easy. Martina winds 40, up, throws 30. the ball up high, and serves right down the tee. It's a beautiful cross-court volley. 40-30. And I think she has an ace. Game Her third ball. ace, indeed she does. But... Tracy Austin hangs on to the lead, three games to two, even Austin though Martina three games to two. serve. Lead is the incredible ingenue, Tracy Austin. She won the U.S. Open. And now can she win this one? What goes through your head at this stage? You're up a break. It's the last set, Chris Everett Lloyd. Well, I'm sure Tracy feels a little bit of pressure. Um, the mere fact that she is beating Martina, who is number one in the world at this moment. But Tracy is a very tough competitor, and she's very cool, and she very rarely lets anything bother her. Is she the toughest to come up yet, mentally, in your experience? There's no doubt in my mind. She definitely is. She is very, very determined, very single-minded and very tough. I remember in 1977, she was 14 years old, the youngest player ever to play Wimbledon. She came on to center court against Chris Everett Lloyd. You were a nervous wreck. Why? I was so nervous. I felt like I was going to be sick to my stomach because she was so young and the, the crowd of 16,000 people really wanted her to win and uh, just put me in a very nervous situation. And Billie Jean King said, Chris, now you know what I you know. put all us through. Now the shoe's on the other foot. Can Tracy hold serve the rest of the way? 3-2 for her, the title on the line. Last set. That one around tip return worked for Martina once before. She went for a big serve there. Fifteen all. Hello. 
hope George Austin, Tracy's father, is watching, and Martina's parents in Dallas. They've gotten out of Czechoslovakia. Miroslav and Jana, and her sister Jana. Martina's talking to herself a little bit. She knows she's not being very patient. You just cannot give away those points like no. that in this situation. Forced errors for Martina in this set. Forty thirty. I think that was a nervous error. Are they both a little tight now? Oh, I think so. The match is very tight. The match is very, very close. And this is a big title to win. good at Tracy's baseline. And it's Deuce. Deuce. She had 40-15. Third game point for Tracy. The groundies are Martina's undoing. Four games to two for Tracy Austin, barely hanging on to her serve. Quiet, please. Thank you. Martina's hitting, the, hitting this volley really deep to Tracy's forehand, and it just hit the line. It was too good for Tracy. That got her to deuce. Now, here's the opening point of the ever critical seventh game, and it goes to Tracy. Well, 15. I think Tracy's return of serve in this match has made the difference. Return of serve. We'll remember that. Tina. I thought Martina would try to swing Tracy wide more often with her serve. She hasn't done that too much. No, she hasn't. with that serve into the ribcage. That's one return she's made all day. Point as tall as the World Trade Center right here. Martina, now back to Lova. She needs a big serve here. Oh. 
It's wide. It is. And often, the forehand of Austin will give way under pressure. Tracy's forehand is the first to go, and Martina's backhand is the first to go in a pressure situation. Let. First serve once more, it's a let. break point. I think Martina missed hit it and it threw Tracy off. Yes, that wasn't that tough a shot for Tracy. But it was a good play for Martina. She knew she had to get in there. And she Cannot. hit the volley really deep. Second deuce. Oh. A couple of whistles from the crowd. Yeah, Judy Popkin called fault, and it was confirmed by umpire Bricka. Third break point. <laughs> no. And Tracy lobbing cleverly over the backhand. That's the break. She lifts her left hand in semi-triumph. She will still have to serve for the match, but she's in awfully good position at 5-2 when we return to the... 17 years old, on the verge of the Avon Championship, one of the big four in women's tennis. She won one of them last year, the U.S. Open. The other three went to her opponent, Martina Navratilova, who won Wimbledon, the Avon, and the Colgate Series. One game stands between Tracy and the title. What must Martina do, Chris? Oh, boy. Martina needs a little prayer, I think. She just needs to play her own game and, and to be patient and wait for the right opportunity to come to the net. And that is impatience. A loose backhand. Unforced error on Martina's part. She's not playing her best, but we all have bad days. I remember one of yours. When was it back in? The I remember a couple of mine. That is her game. That is your recommendation. Get up there. I thought she'd come in with a second serve. She's not going to win any points from the baseline. So she has to get into the net, hit a good approach shot, and make a winning volley. 14 unforced errors for Martina in this set. Six for Austin. It's wide. 15, 30. Shelly Moss makes the call. And a chance for Martina. 15, 30. It is long. Good play for the champion. Attack the forehand. 15, 40. 
You always seem to play a little bit looser when you're behind. Break points. Austin! Martina hits a lob to Tracy's forehand. Tracy reaches up high and it's a winning overhead. 30 40. Still break point. Austin has lost only one point at the net today. She hasn't been up much, but she's been up there profitably. It's amazing. It sails long. And Tracy made sure there would be no attack by pinning Martina to the baseline. I think the crowd senses an upset here. 15.40 to deuce. Martina got it. I thought she'd lost. I thought she'd try to buy time with a lob. She had no chance to make the shot she tried. Advantage Austin. Here is championship point. The queen on the verge of death and a new queen possibly serving. She caught the sideline. Half volley. Austin does not make it. No, the match is still on. Woo! Wow. Ho oh, oh. Martina. That was a close call. Navina Talova must have stretched herself Deuce. two inches in height on that point. Reaching, reaching, reaching and stayed in the match. That was championship point. It is deuce. Ooh. No! Too good. When, when she plays like that, it's just too good. Once more, the Advantage championship Austin. point. Advantage to Austin. Fourteen thousand people here expecting the new champion at this moment. And Martina wins the cross court duel. Well, those two points, Tracy made the air. Quiet, please. Three deuces, longest game of the afternoon. Nope, match point again. Martina, not too happy with that shot. Third championship point. Can Martina do it again? The Wimbledon champion, the defending champion, number one. She came in against the spin. Match Austin, 6 2, 2 6, 6 2. The champion is beaten, and the new champion is 17 year old Tracy Austin of Rolling Hills, California. 6 2. 2-6, 6-2, Martina Navratilova fought off two match points. 
she decided she would give it her last best shot, her strength at the net against the strength of Austin, and it was the awesome backhand, the hatchet stroke of Austin there with Anna Laird. She is the champion, and we'll have more of the Avon Championships live from Madison Square Garden in a moment. 2-6-6-2, she's the new Avon champion, and certainly a threat to Martina as number one. You knew she was a threat to you, Chris. She certainly is a threat to me. Why did she win it? I think Tracy's return of serve and her passing shots were just too powerful for Martina to handle today. And I don't think Martina was her most patient self. She made a lot of loose shots when it counted. We were a little surprised she didn't try to stay more patient, as Chris put it. And so what does this do to the women's tennis atmosphere now? Well, I think it gets awfully boring if one person is dominating and one person... You is, should know. I should know. You should know. If one person is winning everything. And I think now you have two or three or maybe even four of the women who are winning these tournaments. And it's much more exciting for the public. Can this 17-year-old win Wimbledon? She certainly can. If she won on this surface, she certainly can. She is tough, so there she is, the new champion. I'm Bud Collins, along with Chris Everett Lloyd. We've enjoyed being with you. Keep on hacking until the next time. The Avon Championships from Madison Square Garden has been brought to you by Avon, the world's leading beauty company. With Avon, you never looked so good. By Wella, we do beautiful things to your hair. By Lily of France, makers of the sport bra. by Anheuser-Busch Incorporated, St. Louis, brewers of Michelob beer. Weekends were made for Michelob. The announcers on the preceding telecast were selected by Madison Square Garden Center Incorporated with the approval of Avon. This has been a presentation of Madison Square Garden Center Incorporated in association with people and properties through the facilities of Hughes Television Network. <laughs>